Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we are going to start upgrading the Hyper SSTE. If you've been wondering why you haven't seen any running videos of this Truggy, that is because the weather here has been gross. Uh, today, for example, it's actually raining, then it's switching to freezing rain, then it's switching to snow, and then I think back to freezing rain. So honestly, it's just been horrible. Um, you know, this is, you know, a more low profile racing Truggy, the wheels, you know, it's not like you've got great big tall tires on it or anything like that. So it's not gonna be a ton of fun to rip it around. I actually did one day, I took it out, and as soon as I got to where I was going, the, you know, small snowflakes went to huge snowflakes, and it just wasn't fun at all. I recorded some footage, I got back, I started watching, and I was like, you know what, this is, nobody's gonna wanna watch it, because I didn't even wanna wanna watch it. It was pretty boring. So what we're gonna do today, install the braces, install the rear hubs, but more importantly, I got my body back from the painter. So as you can tell, it's very similar to the stock body. I had told Tim that I wanted something very close to the stock body. I didn't want to copy it because I didn't want Habao coming after me, you know, for copying them or anything like that. But I wanted something really, really close. We replaced the orange with blue and pretty much everything else is somewhat sort of the same. Uh, I went with blue because I wanted something that was gonna look good with the yellow wheels and all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna set the Truggy off to the side and we're gonna remove the protective film on the body, get those yellow wheels on the Truggy and see exactly how good this thing looks because I have a feeling this thing is gonna look awesome. Anyways guys, let's get to removing that film. All right, guys, there you have it. That looks so good. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened here. There was a little, just the way the film was, and I thought it was the film, but maybe it was the paint. I'm not sure, but I got a little bit of a nick here. But what I think I'll do is I'm just going to kind of maybe just trim it just a little bit here, and we'll just get rid of that little nudge altogether, and you won't even be able to, to tell that that ever happened. But, wow, that looks so good. The colors just look, you know, it's nice and clean. It's simple. It's nothing, uh, you know, super crazy. But it looks so good. And so to give you guys kind of an idea, there's the two bodies. I'm gonna bring you guys in to see this. There's the two bodies. And like I said, I didn't want any, I didn't want it exactly the same because obviously I did not, again, I didn't want, uh, you know, Habao coming after me or anything like that for whatever copying or some type of, you know, something, something legal mumbo jumbo. But, uh, yeah, guys, there you have it. That looks awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly trim the front on that little boo-boo, and then we're going to get it on the Truggy and get those wheels and tires on. I brought the truck outside just because I wanted you guys to see the color on a cloudy day. It's funny how it almost has like a teal look going on to the blue, yet as soon as I bring the truck back inside, you'll see that it's a lot brighter blue. It's the, I forget what it is, it's the Proline something blue. I can't remember what it is. Um, if, if people do ask for it, I'll, I'll find out exactly what it was and I'll throw a link in the description. But as you guys can see, this looks really, really good. I fixed the front end, I got rid of that little paint chip. Um, but what I wanna do guys right now is actually start modifying the truck. We're gonna start getting those parts on. 
All right, so we're going to start with the rear hubs first, and then we're going to move on to the braces. I may do the center diff housing in this video too today, guys. I'll see how it goes. Um, but I definitely am going to do the braces, the hubs, and maybe even the rear shock tire. I don't know. We'll see how everything goes. All right, guys, so I got the rear hubs on. Um, anybody that's been on this channel knows that I'm not a how-to channel. I don't do full step-on-by-step -step videos or anything like that. But what I do is, if I notice something that I feel like I should bring to your guys' attention, I will. These went on pretty easy. The only thing I'm going to say is, you got these little spacers here. So just make sure when you're pulling the screws out that these don't go flying like mine did. Luckily enough, I was able to find them. But I got those on, and we're going to move on to the uh, center braces now. All right, so the braces are in. As you would expect, these are Habao parts, so they went in with no issues whatsoever. All the screws lined up, uh, threw a little bit of Loctite in to the parts going into the aluminum, and that's about it. What we're going to do now is we are going to move on to that center uh, diff housing just because I think that's going to look wicked in the truck. I feel like now that, you know, I've got these parts installed, the truck definitely has a much more premium feel. The truck always felt really, really good. As I showed in the unboxing, like the suspension is just crazy. It is super smooth. But adding these parts, uh, just give it, again, like I just mentioned, a, a much more premium feel to what is already an amazing truggy. I do have the lightweight front shock tower on order. I have the front steering knuckles on order. Um, I got a couple of different parts coming uh, just for the shock, just a different way to melt them. You'll see that up in the next video. But guys, one thing that's sort of exciting today, not that you'll be able to see because I got the blind closed, it's sunny outside. Haven't seen sun in about, I don't know, a week. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get the body, I'm going to get the whole truck outside, get that new body on. Um, I've applied all the decals and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take a bunch of pics so that you guys can really see what this truck looks like. Um, you know, again, I think I've mentioned this already. I apologize for not being able to run the truck, guys. The weather has just been horrible. It's either freezing cold or snow. And you know what? I really do want to keep this thing looking premium. Um, no, I don't mean like scratches or anything like that, but I just, you know, you start running these things in, in the snow, you know, bearings, screws start to rust. Yeah, there's lots of, we can do. I know that, guys. But um, I just really want to keep this truck looking a certain way. Um obviously you know again scratches and stuff like that i'm okay with but i just don't want that whole rust look to kind of start happening i been lugging this truck around uh, and i'm not joking guys i feel like i should start taking pictures so you guys can see it i've been literally lugging this truck around the house if i go upstairs in the family room with the kids i lug it upstairs with me if i'm you know decide to go watch tv in the living room i lug it upstairs with me it's just been um it just it looks so good it's such a clean look you know I always like, you know, I, I like guys, you know, color anodizing and all that stuff on, on my trucks. But you also sometimes just really appreciate a very clean, simple look. And that is definitely what Habao was going with with this truck. You know, you don't have any of the fancy coloring anodizing. It's, you know, kind of a, just like a, not even a gunmetal. It's just like a gray anodized type thing that, you know, through their parts. But it just looks so clean. And again, that's the look I wanted to go with with this truck so that's why you're not seeing it really running um, and again it just I honestly guys don't feel like it'd be a whole lot of fun in this kind of weather with the snow and stuff it's not going to get great traction so to me there's just no point but anyways guys let's get this truck outside and take some pics as always if you like this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe have a good day